All right, so here we are in ArtStation. If I scroll down this image here, go to full screen, and we can see that now we have this nice 360 degree panoramic image that we can pan around in all directions. To create this, let's go to Unreal. The first thing we need to do is to activate the plugin. So I'm gonna click on Settings, Plugins. I'm gonna type in Pano. I'll hit the Enable checkbox and restart the editor now. Wait for the editor to restart, and then I can close the plugins window. So the next thing I need to do is enable some view options. I need to check on show plugin content and make sure that show engine content is checked on as well because the plugin content is within the engine content. So once I've got the engine content and plugin content shown over in the content browser, I'm going to type in the search pano. Under panoramic capture content, I'm going to select the assets folder. With the assets folder selected, I'm going to simply drag the BP capture tool into my scene. This can go anywhere. It just needs to be in my scene. With it in my scene, I'm going to double click the BP capture to open up the blueprint. And we've got some settings in here, the uh, mono or stereo mode. Uh, I want this uh, set to monoscopic one. That's the format that it needs to be in order to be uploaded to ArtStation. An 8-bit for the bit depth. Uh, the render passes can be left alone. We're going to get the final color rendered out, but if we wanted other images, we could check those on here. Capture parameters, this is going to have kind of the size and width, but like I said, we can leave this at default, but if you do change anything, just make sure to save and compile and close that out. So with the BP Capture tool in my scene, I next need to select my player start. I don't have a player start. So I'll simply drag one out, type in player, and I'll drag a player start into my scene. I'm going to place the player start where I want my capture to be taken from. So I'll just reset its location. I built my scene so the center is here. Make sure this is an intersecting with the ground. Make sure it doesn't say bad size or anything. And it's going to capture from this location. So I want to capture it without the first person gun in view. So if I capture right now, we'll see what I'm talking about. I'm going to hit the play button and we'll wait a few minutes to let the capture do its magic. We'll see that the gun is showing and right now the editor is frozen. I am not able to move around. That is because the capture is capturing. So we'll wait a minute or two for the capture to finish. Okay. Once I've regained control, I'm going to hit escape to get out of play mode and I'm going to open up explore. We need to path to the C drive panoramic capture frames, and then we'll have a folder with the date of the capture, select final color, and we'll double click to open up our capture. We'll see that it is one image, not two images is stacked, but we have the gun here in view. So let's get rid of that gun. So I need to open up my world settings. I can click on settings, world settings, and I'll make sure over here in the tab that I've got world settings selected. The game mode override right now is set to first person game mode. I'm just going to select that to none. With none selected, the gun will not show up now. So I will recapture by hitting play. Wait a few moments for the capture to take process. This may take a minute or two depending on your system setup and the resolution of the capture. All right. I've regained control of the editor. I'm going to hit escape. I'll path back to that location and go up to panoramic capture frames, select the new folder, go to final color, double click, and we've got our 360 pano without the gun. Now all I need to do is go over to ArtStation. I'll select manage portfolio. I'll click edit project and I'll click to add the 360 pano. Now currently it's not a JPEG. So if I go back and look, it's a PNG file. So I'm going to open this up in Photoshop and simply save it out as a JPEG. Control shift S, save as. JPEG, hit save, hit OK. Back over to ArtStation, we'll select Browse and select our JPEG and hit open. There it is. Uploaded to ArtStation and ready to go. And now we have our 360 pano uploaded to ArtStation. We can zoom in and out and look all around in every direction. I've also included a PDF quick start guide for this process that can be downloaded in the description below. If this video did help you out, please consider liking and subscribing and have a great day.